Isn't that a stunning image? The woman's face and tree were combined digitally in a computer, printed out, and worked into a painting, a beautiful painting. Hi, I'm Julie Davis. Welcome to Blick Art Materials Workshops. Today, I want to tell you about a product called LaserTran. Now, many of us are looking for ways to incorporate new media into the classroom, especially since we have computers now. LaserTran helps you get your students' artwork from the computer into traditional art forms. Let me demonstrate to you how. First of all, I want to tell you about a couple different types of LaserTran. LaserTran comes in a version that goes through an inkjet printer. I recommend, if you have access to an inkjet printer, to use this version of LaserTran first when you're starting out. Just about any inkjet printer will accept this type of LaserTran. You just have to make sure that you feed it in the proper direction. And it does have a little bit of a blue background to the back sheet of the paper to help you with that. Once you've printed your image on it, allow it to dry for about 30 seconds and it's ready to use. The laser tran over here in the white package is for photocopiers and for laser printers. There are a few concerns with this particular product. If you have a machine that uses fusing oil, you're probably quite safe to use this. If you're not sure, go to your manufacturer's website and look it up, or visit lasertran.com for a current list of photocopiers and laser printers that this product works well with. Let me demonstrate to you what exactly laser tran paper does. I've printed out some paintings on a piece of uh, laser tran. Now I've printed small ones. You can fit about six to eight images on a page this way. Cut it out and now I'm going to put it in just some regular tap water. You'll notice that it curls up immediately and that's normal that's what it's going to do we're just going to let it soak and what the water is going to do is it's going to penetrate the backing paper and it's going to charge the adhesive now you can use images from your students artwork you can use digital photos the images I've got here today are from a clip art book of great paintings and it's a copyright free okay this is how you know that it's ready do you see how it starts to slide off the backing paper? While it's doing that, I want to point out to you just how incredibly thin and delicate the laser tran decal is. Do you see that? Okay, bring it over to the surface that you want to apply it to. Now I have here just a very simple tile from the home store. And I'm going to first lay it onto the tile and then I'm going to slide it off the backing paper out from underneath it like that. If you try and remove it from the backing paper you might tear it because it is a little bit delicate but once it's on there you can move it around a little bit while it's still wet just to make sure that you have it centered exactly the way you want it to be. Then take your fingers and gently from the center work out any air bubbles and any extra water like that and that's it allow it to dry and it's going to stay on there permanently however because it is a thin decal as I showed you it is easily damaged and easily scratched so I do recommend that you apply some sort of a water base or polyurethane varnish over the top of it here's a piece right here that has a varnish over the top of it. If I turn it to the light, you can see where the decal ends, where it's sitting on there. A neat thing that you can also see in here is that it picks up all of the texture underneath that tile, goes right down into every little nook and cranny so that you can see the texture right through the image. Okay, that's how you put laser tran on a non-porous non surface glazed ceramics, tile, metal, glass, uh, plastics, um, most plastics, those types of surface, it's just a simple water slide technique like that. Now porous surfaces are a little bit different and by porous surface I mean 
unglazed ceramics, um, wood, paper, canvas, even primed canvas. Any, not, any porous surface will need to be sealed first, otherwise the laser tran won't stick. I have a couple wooden panels here. Now, if you read the instructions on the package, it will tell you that you can use turpentine to apply it to a wood surface. Brush the turpentine onto the surface, do your water slide transfer onto it, and the turpentine will actually adhere that, that transfer very permanently to the board. However, turpentine is not a classroom safe material. So, a ch an easier way and safer way to get around it is to coat the surface and seal it with something. I've used a multi-purpose glue on this surface. Just brushed it over and allowed it to dry. Then, we're going to do a simple water slide transfer. I have next a girl with the pearl ear earring. And I did want to show you this. I like to get a nice rough edge around my pieces so that it doesn't quite look so mechanical. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just going to tear it out of the paper like this. And then stick that in the water. And give it just a minute to charge that adhesive, to soak up that backing paper. And there we go. The box that I have over here is a wooden box with laser tran applied. And the painting that we looked at first is actually a wooden plate that the laser tran has been applied to using these techniques. All right, so now I'd like to show you a classroom project that you can do with your students. Um, incorporating laser tran. I have a full-size image. Might be a little expensive to do one of these with every student, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use a full-size image. And I'm just going to make sure that it's down in the water, like so. Okay, it's ready to slide off its paper, like so. And I'm bringing it over on top of a piece of metal tooling foil. Let's move Vincent out of the way here and slide it on to the gold side of the foil. Okay, I'm going to work out the water like this. All right, now ideally we would let it dry first before we started to do any sort of manipulation to it, but I'm going to go ahead and start in and I'm going to cut. We're going to make a three-dimensional sculptural piece out of this famous painting by Gustav Klimt. I'm going to trim away the excess from the sides. People often ask, well, how long does it take for it to dry? Just as long as it takes the water to evaporate. Might be a little bit affected by humid humid conditions. You can speed it up a little bit by blotting it with a paper towel. Okay, and I'm just going to spread this out. All right, now at this point I'm going to show you how you can manipulate this metal with the laser tram image right on it. I'm going to take a stack of paper towels and put it right underneath it, like this. Then I'm going to turn it over and take some embossing tools. I have some wooden tools here that I can actually start creating some embossing textures in, like this. I also have some special new tools from a company called 10 Second Studio. These are rolling texture tools, and as you can see, as I make them like this, they make really neat patterns just by rolling around. There's a scallop edge, there's a dotted edge. I'm just 
going to roll a couple of those. We also have an end here that just can create a different type of texture in the piece like this. A great way to texturize metal. And let's go with the round piece too. A little bit. Okay, now if I turn that over, you can see where those textures have actually come through the laser tran image. They haven't ripped it or torn it. They've actually come through. A good way to take a closer look at this is to look at this butterfly girl right up here. You can see how the embossing and the texture has come through the image on this piece here. Okay, and another thing that we can do with this is to take a push pen and add little wires and beads and things like this to our sculpture. So I'm going to go back over here along my edge and create some holes for adding wires. Okay. Next, we can take some of this beautiful colored wire and weave it in to our sculpture. Now you can challenge your students to come up with a freestanding metal sculpture that bends, or you could just make a wall hanging with this. I think that was a hole. Okay, I'm going to snip that off and I'm going to add couple colorful beads that will look nice with this image. All right. And finish off with the last bit there. Then twirl my wire down around the piece. Okay, this piece has so much bend to it. I can bend this to make it stand. Well, and there you have a very simple sculpture, but you can imagine if this were actually your student's digital artwork that was incorporated into a metal sculpture like this, wouldn't that be an educational experience for them? Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you were inspired. You'll find a materials list to follow and some important information. While you're at our website, check out some more of our lesson plans and ideas. There's even some more for image transfer on there with LaserTran. Thanks for coming. We'll see you again very soon.